After months of controversy, St. John's County is finally making some changes to its school desk code. It's become a hot topic from students complaining about how staffers comment on their attire to a series of poorly edited yearbook photos. Now the dress code is the subject of a federal investigation. Meanwhile, this morning, the St. John's County School Board approved new dress code rules, including changes to the district's policy about the length of students' shorts. Digital reporter Travis Gibson watched that meeting. He's got more details about those changes. Travis? Yeah, that's right. One of the biggest issues voiced by parents and students throughout this whole school dress code discussion revolved around shorts worn by female students. Now to address that, the district will now no longer require students to wear shorts with an inseam that measures at least five inches long. Instead, students must wear shorts that are no shorter than mid thigh. There's a lot of different body shapes. We don't have 44,000, 45 students that are all the same. I think the mid thigh terminology and language gives the flexibility to the students and the families with regards to those different body shapes. It's not one standard piece. While parents and students who spoke during the meeting said the changes are a step in the right direction, most said they still take issue with the new mid-thigh rule and have concerns about enforcement. For many young women with longer legs, this makes the inseam requirement even longer than originally proposed, which was five inches. For example, I'm only 5'6", and the inseam requirement to reach my mid-thigh would be around 6 inches, and I've never seen women's shorts with a 6-inch inseam. Before you publish this year's Code of Student Conduct, please consider revising the levels of discipline by removing language that allows the practice of dress coding because being dress coded is both embarrassing and disruptive. The school board said enforcement is a big issue and it wants the district to rely on common sense enforcement when it comes to the new rules. The district did say it will no longer conduct dress code sweeps or call out students for dress code violations in the hallway or in front of other students. The district plans to publish the approved changes before the start of school on August 16th. The school board did leave the door open to revisit how the changes are being implemented in the coming months and make more changes if necessary. For more on the changes, look for this story on newsforjax.com. Back to you.